So we're going to take a look at setting up a program and adding some buckets into it. So we're going to jump back in here again. All right, perfect. So let's go to programs. So we already have a couple programs uh, in here. Um, we have a referral drip that has a few steps in here. That's some initial contact. We'd already talk about... Um, We already talked about in our last uh, couple of videos, I think we did one in our rental. So let's do a rental program, rental and leasing. So basically, what we're gonna start here is when a, a contact is added to the program, start here. So we can attach buckets to this program, which is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna attach Let's see, rentals. Currently renting. And let's just do that for right now. Leasing out home is gonna be a different type of client. So we'll do the the uh, the renting and leasing guys that we have here. So I'm going to add a new step. So basically when I add them, add them to this program, I want to wait one day and I want to send out, uh, send out an email. And basically you can select, you can select any kind of template that we have here. So basically we have a few that are loaded up. But we're not going to use any of these. We're just going to do, we're just going to basically, um, we'll do a thinking of you follow up. And now I have this kit in here. So require my approval for executing. So basically all it shows up, it'll be approve or deny for the follow up. And, you know, I like to send these out early if it goes out. Just because if they, uh, if it goes out early and they select the account it goes from, if it goes out early, it's on the top of their email when they open it up in the morning, right? So if it goes out late at night and then other people email, they can be buried 10, 20, 30 emails deep. So send out in the morning so it's top of mind. And I'm going to save that. So then I'm going to add a new step. I'm going to wait 30 days. And the reason I'm waiting so long is this is a leasing and rental. So they're, not, they're really not going to be going anywhere for a while. And I'm going to send another email. Now, now what I'm going to be doing here is um, I'm going to, actually I'm not going to send an email, I'm going to send just, just a reminder for me to follow up. And the reason why I'm just going to do that is it's only 30 days out. I've already sent them kind of the, the uh, stock email before. So again, restart waiting period if we talk in between. So if we talk, if there's an email, it's going to know if we email them, it's going to, it's going to push that back another 30 days from that day. So I'll save that. Now this one's the one where it's going to be 60 days out. So it's a full 90 since we initially put them in the bucket and put them in the rental. So this one, I'm going to ac actually send them an email. And it's going to be thinking of you follow up. And again, it's going to be at 6 a.m. Again, require approval. We'll select the account that I want. We'll save that. I'm just going to do this again. So I got 90 days. So this is put us at 180. Send an email. Now I'm just putting this in here because it's a dummy account. We'd have more templates that we can load in, but I'm just showing you how to create these placeholders in here. And again, it's automatically going to fault to this stuff. But now this one, I don't want it to restart. The reason why is, is like from these days on, I want, I have a specific reason of why I want it to hit every 90 days. And the reason why is most leases are, are a year. So day one, day 30, day 60, here's 90 days. Here's another 90, so number 180. I don't want that to restart because I want to land 90 days from now on asking if they're thinking about buying a home. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. Save it. I'm going to add a new step. 
Now I'm gonna wait 90 days. So this puts us this puts us uh, nine months in. So we're three months from the expiration of of the deal. Again, I don't want to restart. Now I'm gonna send an email, and now I'm gonna put. So interested in buying a new home. And the reason why that is is we're three months out from that lease, and we need to find out if that's going to be a lead for us. And I'm going to save this one. I'm going to add a new step. Now it's going to be 30 days. Now I'm going to let that one restart because we're in, we're in the crunch time. So I might talk to them more often, and I do want to restart here. Remind me to follow up. Three days. Remind me to follow up. Three days. Now, we are now at our full year worth of this program running too. So basically what you can do on this one is you can remove from this bucket if they end up buying a house, you can add to another bucket, like say to say to warm leads, because um, it might be going month to month at this point. So warm home buying leads, as opposed to the the rental purgatory, uh, in this particular instance. Or you can just remind you to follow up again. I'm going to add to bucket, and I'm gonna select a bucket, and now it's going to be uh, warm leads or buyer leads new. So I'm gonna do buyer leads new. Now, if it puts them in there after a year and say they rent for another year, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them manually back into the rental bucket, and this is going to start over again. And then it's going to basically just keep on following up, keep on following up. Uh, the first one we have to do, um, it does well, the first one does an automatic email after day one you put them in there. Step two, it's I'm manually doing it, and these, they're just, they're just sending up, they're just sending automatic emails. I'm doing nothing here. All I'm doing is approving it, and it's it's just going to kick these out, uh, kick these emails out. Now you can go if, if this it doesn't end up working for you, you can edit edit the bucket, and you can get rid of a get rid of the deal here, uh, whatever you want to do. Once you're done, you're going to save, and I'm done editing. So on our rental leasing bucket, just to summarize up, we have all these steps here. So we got 30, 60, 90 days. 180 days, 270 days, three, 300 days, 330 days, 360 days. So this is our year program. And like I said, by this time it drops into, it drops to buyer leads. And like I said, if they end up renting again, then I'll just drop them back into the rental bucket and it's going to start all over again because that program, once they're, once they're new in there, it's going to start that program over and then you'll be all set up. So this is just some of the robust things you can do uh, with the programs again to actually you can see I can automate it I can make it a little bit more manual and personable uh, or personal uh, But you can automate a lot of stuff so you can always be touching people um, Whether it be through email or reaching on phone calls and you can just the many different ways you can you can reach out and A lot of the ways you can automate it to where you can be focused on driving business driving revenue prospecting while contextually can be you know keeping those leads warm pushing them to the next level. Some people are going to re people respond like, actually, Robert, at least in nine months, we're probably going to be ready to buy. Awesome. Well, you might not even send that email. Contextually, might have sent it out for you, and then you're getting a response on it. Um, it's like I said, it's almost like having a personal assistant like doing the work for you. So that's setting up a program and then adding buckets to it. Um, and we'll go over some other features here in some future videos.